Well, Diwali, the festival of lights, hear about the spiritual tradition celebrated in India and worldwide, of course, right here in Houston as well. Visions continues after these messages. Welcome back to Visions. Diwali is a spiritual tradition celebrated in India and around the world. Here to tell us about this tradition of giving, I want to welcome Swapan Dariavant, president of the India Culture Center. Welcome, Swapan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Mia. Uh, so for people who are not familiar with Diwali, tell us what it is. Diwali is literally, it's a Sanskrit word, which means Deepavali, which is a row of lamps. And actually, it signifies something relating to the inner awareness which outshines the outside darkness and people in this celebrations they put lamps all across their house they lit the lamps which is filled with oil and they celebrate Diwali this is something more like Christmas yeah it's called a festival of lights. festival of lights it's full of lights full of firecrackers full of giving full of celebrations food fun, jewelry, buying new clothes, all of that stuff. And then what time of the year does it usually happen? Diwali happens in the month of October and November. That's the lunar month in which we celebrate the Hindu calendar. Hin Diwali is celebrated all across the world, actually. It's an official holiday in most of the countries like Nepal, Suriname, Singapore, Fiji, Su and... Um, and a lot of people get together exactly. and have a good time, eat a lot of food, exactly. and sing and, and dance and all that good and, stuff. And, and New Year. It's a New Year, too. The, the fourth day of Diwali is the new year from which the new calendar gets started. Okay, and then so this year, Sunday is actually the last day. Sunday is actually the last day, and this is the day which we call the Bhai Dooch Day. This is a day on which the brothers and the sisters celebrate. The reason is the sisters pray for the good health of the brothers, and the brothers assure safety and well-being for the sisters, and it's renewed every year. And uh, so, are there big public celebrations like the ICC? Do oh, you guys yes. organize? Tell oh, us yes. about that. Uh, there are big celebrations. Like the community has grown largely in Houston. It was just about 300 or so people in the early 70s, and ICC was the oldest organization. It has grown up to more than 150,000 plus. And these celebrations are there in various temples, various places. There's more than 150,000 Indian. Uh, people Americans in, 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 in the Houston, greater Houston area. Greater Houston area. Exactly. So that includes Sugar Land and, and the Greater Houston, and Sugar Land, KT, Pearland, all of those That's areas. a significant number. Oh, yes. So you have a, a couple of events, but one, tell us about the one on November 14th. And we have a November 14th event, which is the Diwali event, which we are celebrating at the Houston Durgabari. This is an event in which we'll be celebrating along with the children. The, the focus is children because this is the next generation who is going to take the mantle and move forward. And where is that being held? This is being held at the Durgabari Center, which is on Shiloh Road at Highway 6. And usually how many people do you have come? Oh, uh, I would say uh, the downtown events, usually it's about two to 3,000. In this event also we expect about the same numbers. And what do people do in their own private homes? Do, how do people prepare? Um, do they travel actually to their families? And yes, they, they go to their families, their friends, they exchange gifts, lots of stuff. Fireworks is a very significant thing yeah. in Diwali. Uh -huh. um, it's like uh, Thanksgiving without turkey if there are no <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> so, so it's not Diwali without fireworks. Exactly. And the big celebrations would be hap already happened on Friday at the BAPS temple. These all things happen in all the temples as well. It's a huge, huge community which celebrates, comes out in large numbers. And there's and there's a lot of dancing and singing and things exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. The community gathers together, they play music, they play dance, and it's it's fun. It's fun time. That's the time of the year in which everyone comes out in the open and enjoys. And then what's your favorite part about it? What is the what is you and the ICC, what do you guys do for, for the occasion? Um, let me tell you, ICC has been traditionally doing parades, theme events, getting to know and engaging with the mainstream. We have done this various times in the downtown to show what exactly it is and to portray the Indian art, culture, and heritage. To really kind of get people who perhaps don't, um, have never experienced Diwali to actually enjoy it. Exactly. That's and, it. and so we have been talking about the November 14th event where you, you say you'll focus on a lot of children. Can anybody go to the Oh, event? yeah, it's a free event. We it's like a free events. event. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, and tell us about the location again. Where is that? It's, it's going to be at the Houston Durgabari, which is at Shiloh Road at High West 6. And what time does that start? And it's an afternoon event starting at 3 in the evening, uh, in the afternoon 
afternoon to 7.30 in the evening. Okay, that sounds great. And meanwhile, people can always do a little celebration at home if they so yes, wish. Yes, and yeah. I would always say happy Diwali to everyone. And that's what we say. Okay, and happy Thank Diwali you. to you as well. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining Thank us, so Lopan.